Hey everybody, this is JP back with week 8 NFL picks and predictions. But first, before we get into that, let's see how I did last week. Last week was a rough week. There's a lot of upsets. Patriots beating the Bills, Vikings beating the 49ers. There was a lot of games that could have gone either direction. I just seemed to be wrong on each one of those. I was 5-8 and eight straight up. I went 1-3 uh, and three against the spread and I went 1-2 and two with my totals predictions. For the season, my uh, straight up picks, I'm 58 and 48. Against the spread, I am now 10, 18, and 1. And my totals, I'm 5 and 10. So, starting to have the season slip away from me. I'm going to try my best to, to make a, a nice comeback for the second half of the season. So, the first game, the Thursday night game, the Tampa Bay Bucks are taking on the Buffalo Bills. The Bills have looked a little bad, a little sluggish lately. They lost. To the Patriots, they lost. They almost lost to the Giants the week before. I'm going to go with the Bills, but I don't love it. I, I think the only reason I'm going to pick the Bills is because they're playing at home. I feel like they can't keep losing. Uh, you know, division games can be tough, so you got to give them that. But you go with the Bills. Next up, I have the Falcons at the Titans. That's a hard pick for me. I'm I'm probably going to go with Atlanta just because I feel like they kind of have a they they just seem to be the same team every week. They don't not really getting blown out by anybody. They're not winning by a lot, but I'm just going to give the edge to the Falcons in that one. Rams at the Cowboys. I'm going to I'm going to go with the Cowboys in that one. The Rams seem to be kind of on a downtrend for some reason. They 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 got cut back, but he didn't have much of an impact against the Steelers. Dallas uh, coming off of a bye week, so I, I kind of feel like they had some time to rest. So I'm going to go with the Cowboys in that one. New Orleans Saints at the Indianapolis Colts. Oh, that, that game is a really hard one to predict. I'm going to go with the Saints just because I think Gardner Minshew isn't isn't better than Derek Carr. I, I think it's a, it's just gonna come down to the quarterback play. Saints have a good defense, so I'll go with the I'll go with the Saints in that one. New York Jets at the New York Giants. I'm gonna roll with the Jets in that one. Not much of a home field advantage in this this matchup. Uh, basically, they, they're playing in the same place, so I'm gonna go with the Jets. I, I think I think they they can. Um, outlast the Giants. I think it's going to be an ugly game, though. Philadelphia Eagles at the Washington Commanders. I'm going to go with Philly here. Now, I remember last time this game, these this, these two teams went to overtime. Philly couldn't quite put Washington away. But Washington hasn't played good pretty much since then. Um, they've kind of looked pretty sloppy. They, they got blown out by the Bears. They lost to the Giants. I mean, the team seems like they're, they're reeling right now. Houston Texans at the Carolina Panthers. I'm going to go with the Houston Texans just because the Panthers haven't really figured things out. I think I think Houston's rookie quarterback is, is playing much better than Carolina's rookie quarterback. And I know Carolina's coming off of a bye week. Miles Sanders has been quite disappointing. We'll see if Hubbard gets more touches this game. But I'm, I'm rolling with the Texans. Jacksonville Jaguars at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Remember, these two teams played in the playoffs a few years ago. I don't know. I, I think Jacksonville's starting to find their stride. I'm going to go with the Jaguars. Uh, Pittsburgh at home is always tough. And they're, they're starting to, to put it together as well. But I'm going to go with the Jaguars. Both teams, are their arrows are trending up. Minnesota Vikings taking on the Green Bay Packers. Hey, you know, Vikings had a gritty win against, against the 49ers on Monday Night Football. It was a short week, though. But I think, I think uh, the Vikings are just a better team. So I'm going to go with the Vikings there. I think they'll they'll be able to win even on the road, even without Justin Jefferson. You got New England Patriots taking on the Miami Dolphins. I'm going with the Dolphins there. Um, Waddle got banged up against Philly. It's in Miami, though, and they still got Tyreek Hill. I, I think they'll have a nice bounce-back game. I, I can't trust the Patriots yet. Cleveland Browns at the Seattle Seahawks. I'm going to go with the Seahawks. They have the home field advantage. You know, it looks like Watson's going to miss another game. 
Browns won last week, but it was an ugly win. They got some help by the refs. So I, I think the, the Seahawks will win that game. I think DK Metcalf will also play in that game, so that's a good help for them too. Baltimore Ravens taking on the Arizona Cardinals, going with the Ravens. The Ravens are looking legit right now. I ate my crow last week. I, I had the Lions beating them, and, and I even picked the Lions plus three. That was totally wrong. Sorry, Raven Nation. Uh, I'm going ride with you this week, though. I think they're the stronger bird this season. So, The Bengals taking on the 49ers. This is a tricky one just because uh, Brock Purdy's in concussion protocol, and it's going to be... It's going to be a, a road game for the Bengals. 49ers look like they're in a bit of a funk, though. Uh, Debo Samuel's probably going to miss this game. So, you know, they, they still have Brandon Ayuk. They have McCaffrey. But, you know, I'm actually going to go with the Bengals in this game. I think I think until I see the 49ers playing like they were earlier, I, I'm, I'm a little reluctant to pick them. If Brock Purdy's unable to go, it'll be Sam Darnold. He hasn't been incredible in his, his NFL career thus far, so... I would give the edge to the Bengals as of right now. You have the Chiefs taking on the Broncos. Give me the Chiefs all day. These two teams just played a few weeks ago on an ugly Thursday night game. So I'll go with the Chiefs in that game. Bears at the Chargers. I'm going to go with the Chargers in that game. Bears have that rookie quarterback. He had a nice showing last week against the Raiders. He dominated that matchup, but I think the Chargers will win at home. Raiders taking on the Lions. Raiders quarterback situation is looking really ugly. I got to go with the Lions here at home. I think the Lions will pull away. Titans at the Steelers. This is a good matchup. Um, and now for my best against the spread picks for the week. So going back to that Monday night game, I actually like the Lions to cover the spread minus eight and a half. I know they came off of a, ugly loss but at home against a bad Raiders team I think they can they can cover that spread next up I have I'm gonna go with the Bengals plus three and a half I picked the Bengals to win the game straight up so I'm gonna go with the Bengals plus three and a half I also like the Teddy Houston Texans, minus three at Carolina. I think Houston's a better team. They're going to win that game. Next, I have the Tampa Bay Bucks plus nine and a half. And the Bills probably will win the game, but they've been looking... Not to the level that we expect them to, so I, I'm going to go with the Bucks in that game. I, I to to cover the spread just because I, I like I like the matchup even though they're on the road. All right, for my totals picks, I have the Bears Chargers under 46 and a half. I just think the Bears offense isn't going to generate enough points to make that go over. So I like the under in that game. The Eagles Commanders game, I actually have that going over 43 and a half. These two teams played in a shootout earlier this season, so I'm going to go with the over. Minnesota Vikings at Green Bay Packers, I'm going under 42. Seems like the Packers offense is is kind of struggling right now, so I'm going to go with go with the under in that game. Same thing with the Dolphins, Patriots. I'm going under that game, 45 and a half under. Uh, Patriots offense is not very good this year, so I'm going to pick the under in that game. And that's it for this week's picks. Thank you for watching, and let's enjoy some football.